the member for Don Valley West. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. For decades, the Canadian government actively discriminated against gay, lesbian, bisexual, trans, and queer Canadians. Thousands of public servants and military personnel were fired for their sexual orientation, forced to live double lives, or risk loss of employment or even criminal conviction. I'm proud of our government's efforts to build stronger ties with my community, working for rights at home and abroad. But still more remains to be done. Could the Minister of Justice update us on steps the government is taking to heal the wounds in the LGBTQ2 community? Honourable Minister of Justice. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'd like to thank my colleague, uh, the member from Don Valley West, for the question. I am incredibly proud of the work that our government is doing. In Canada, we embrace diversity, we embrace inclusion, and we have to ensure that everybody has the freedom to be who they are. That is why I'm incredibly proud that the Senate uh, passed Bill C-16 last week. I look forward to it receiving royal assent, adding to the Canadian Human Rights Code um, a prohibition against um, gender identity and gender expression. We are doing more, looking at uh, historic records and the expungement of them for unjust laws. And in this month of pride, I want to celebrate and applaud the LGBT. The Honourable Member for Selkirk, Interlake East. Mr. Speaker, the